Yo, what up YouTube? Rotocut Gaming here, bringing you another crypto-related video. Back to back. That's how we do it. Uh, I've been thinking about this one for a while. Thought it would be a fun little experiment to analyze which of my video cards give me the most profit or revenue. I, I just look at revenue. Um, I'm a simple man. And what am I mining? Why am I mining it? And what excites me about the whole mining situation? So. Um, to cut to the chase, Ethereum and Ravencoin are my two favorite coins that I like to mine. And um, I got all types of video cards. I got 11 video cards. And I gotta figure out, okay, what's the most effective, what's the biggest bang for the buck when it comes to my current setup. Uh, everybody's is different. You might have, you know, a certain kind of GPU only or many, many different kinds. So you gotta do your research as far as what you want. I, I pretty much honed in on Ethereum and Ravencoin. Uh, so I wanted to visualize what is it that I'm that I'm getting today? What what's the speculation behind these things? And what am I expecting to make? Like what I'm making now, what is it in future dollars? So, you know, uh, there's all these tables and everything that you can probably if you're an enthusiast and you can start mining all types of uh, coins, you know, with, with different algorithms, but like I said, Ethereum and, and, and Ravencoin is what what I'm comfortable with and what, else, what I'm going to end up mining with my current setup. Alright, so this is a, a table that I was able to come up with. It's got my 11 video cards that, that I currently mine with and um, after doing some testing and trying to find out the hash rates and the profitability of each one as of today as of right now September 13 slash 14 because it's midnight um, this this is what I came up with so the ones in blue are basically the ones that are most profitable on Ethereum uh, it's my it's 23080 TI's that I have a 1070 TI and a Titan XP and these in orange are my uh, LHR video cards that are basically crippled when it comes to Ethereum hashing, but they're sort of rev um, profitable in the Ravencoin um, algorithm Kapow. So, um, real quick visualizer of hey, what's what's what? What am I working with? Um, so when it comes to numbers, uh, if if I look at Putting all my eggs in one basket and, and just mine Ethereum, um, I would be potentially mining at a uh, 588 mega hash per second. Excuse me. So that would bring me a total uh, in today's dollars, almost 43 dollars in revenue. You know, there's the electricity and all that stuff. Just for simplicity's sake, it's 43 dollars. All right. Okay. Well, it's not, it's not a bad number. Um, but if I were to put all my eggs in the Ravencoin uh, basket, uh, I'd be working with 350 mega hash and um, 3823 um, dollars in, in daily revenue as of today's prices. And that's what that you know that that's I'm limited because these these video cards are more effective these top four are more effective than ethereum so i'm you know i'm, I'm taking a almost five dollar hit daily that's a big percentage but if i maximize and this is scenario three if i mix and match both ethereum and the um uh, the ravencoin algorithm i will get about 45 dollars a day um and don't mind these numbers i think i mistype that but basically this number is correct 44 eight almost 45 dollars that's pretty good that's in today's dollars you know and, and, and the speculation the the fun about cryptocurrency is that your 45 dollars today might be 90 dollars in about a year or two depending if, if it if it goes up if you're in a bear market these 44 dollars if you don't cash out they're gonna probably be worth 20 dollars you know that's that's part of the fun so, okay, that's a nice visualizer, a little green cell to identify, hey, this is, this is the most effective strategy for, for today's uh, pricing action. So, 
couple of things that I wanted to even visualize even more was okay how much ETH am I getting right now per per day uh, with scenario one all eggs in that basket I'm gonna get 0.012 ETH um, so it's not even anything substantial right the difficulty and the, the amount of people jumping in I mean you're not getting you're getting fractions of ETH per day um, that, that's fine uh, on scenario two if I dump all my hash power on that I will get about 378 coins which is pretty good right uh, all things considered the difficulty did go up um, so hey and you know eventually this this it, the more people that jump into the network um, the less the rewards that I'm gonna get but as of right now 378 that's fine so the scenario 3 is mix and matching so I would get possibly you know 0.0055 ethereum and 253 coins so mix and match you don't know which one is gonna hit so you you you, you try to play that scenario of um, if raven coin hits at least you know I mine some of it if ethereum balloons and goes to the moon hey at least I mine some of it that's you're hedging your your bets on 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 one of the two winners so speculation time this is this is why I'm this is why I'm mining um, I, I like to think in the future what I'm doing is it worth it um, and because I used to mine e Ravencoin when it was one cent two cents and now it's 11 cents and it got all the way up to like 17 cents if, if I'm not mistaken I know that down the line price is gonna go up I, I, I know it I, I, I've seen it I lived it so I know that whatever I'm mining now it's gonna go up whether it's gonna go up exponentially and it's gonna explode to the moon I don't know maybe we'll see so the fun the fun of speculating is 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 really the meat of my mining um, addiction um, and right now you know, uh, to put things in perspective, when I started mining ETH in January 1st of this year, I just started my whole experience. Um, ETH was $700. Now it's $3,300. So I know it goes up. Mind you, we're in a bull market. I get that. But I know that it goes up. It's up to me to sell it, you know, cover my, my, my mining cost and electricity and all that stuff. Yeah, sure. But part of the fun is is seeing that price and saying, hey, what I mined two months ago was not thirty dollars a day. Is it was now sixty dollars a day. So I was mining, you know, x amount of coins back in the day. Uh, so I'm just beating around the uh, the bush. But speculations for uh, for scenario one is if ETH, for example, reaches ten thousand per coin, and I keep hearing that all the time. Oh, you know, it's gonna reach that. Blah blah blah. It might. It might not but let's say if it does if it reaches 10,000 um, per coin uh, on that scenario one of dumping all my eggs in, in that basket in the ethereum basket I what I'm mining today would translate to about hundred and twenty dollars in future dollars so that's that's what it's gonna equate to uh, scenario two again for the same thing for Ravencoin the speculation is that Ravencoin is going to reach a dollar, um, and I can go in details as to why I think people think uh, ten thousand per uh, for Ethereum and one dollar for for Ravencoin. But these are the numbers. So if Ra Ravencoin reaches a dollar, I, I know that's you know ten x, right? If it reaches a dollar, the three hundred and seventy eight coins that I'm that I'm getting now would be worth three hundred and seventy eight dollars in future dollars. So whatever I'm mining today. Boom, 378, 378, 378 uh, every day. Again, it's gonna diminish as difficulty goes up, but that is the fun and the and the specul and the speculative aspect of, of mining. Speculation scenario number three, when you mix and match, let's say Ethereum balloons up to ten thousand per coin. What I'm mining right now in, in Ethereum is worth fifty-five dollars. And let's say Ravencoin um, balloons up to a dollar as well uh, it's $253 that I'm mining right now in future dollars for a total of 300 and let's say both both happen the 10,000 for ethereum 
and the one dollar for Ravencoin. That they both happen. It's it's three hundred plus three hundred dollars a day that I'm mining right now for in future dollars. If Ravencoin never reaches a dollar, hey, um, so be it, right? At least I mine Ethereum and I was able to make a little bit of profit. So that's that is in essence what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be um, d uh, dividing and conquer conquering um, both coins with my mining operation and, and and I think it's just so fun watching the price action for one coin go up and the other one kind of stagnates and you go to the the forums and they're like why isn't my coin pumping everybody is is, ha is having fun but us those are the max and maximalist those are the ones that are like just one coin and that's it Bitcoin people ethereum people and that's all they think about me I'm, I like to have a little bit more fun with it and and that's the reason why I'll, I'll be mining these two coins who knows that they might hit they might not hit I've seen it I've seen this movie play out many many times I've seen it uh, I'm just excited for it so yeah these are the numbers um, on a side note, why do I think, me personally, that, that Ethereum will re reach 10,000 per coin eventually? Um, various reasons. It's going to go proof of stake. The whole uh, excitement, I guess, that people have of, of coins being green. Um, and that caused some FUD, right? That, that Bitcoin's uh, price dropped from 64,000 to like 30,000 it was because of the whole green thing that Elon Musk started spewing um, so when Ethereum goes proof of stake the amount of power to generate new coins is it's gonna go down drastically in the 90 percent percent type or 95 or 99 it's ridiculous so it's gonna ca it's gonna capture the imaginations of a lot of people saying, okay, what is this coin? It's green, but you know it's number two, blah blah blah. Also, um, uh, there, there there's a deflationary aspect of it. There's code put in in the system where the not a lot of coins are gonna be created. Uh, every transaction actually burns a little bit of Ethereum and it just disappears. So it's not a inflation. It's not gonna be an inflationary uh, coin. It's gonna be deflationary. Um, and you know, there's the, the whole ecosystem NFTs. There's a bunch of st uh, stuff uh, surrounding Ethereum. My, in my opinion, it's it's the new internet, the the internet of money. It, it's going to be ridiculous. You know, 10, 15, 20 years down the line, I, I believe in it. I maybe I I drank too much of that Kool Aid, but that's why I think it's easily going to reach 10,000. Is it going to do it this cycle? Probably. Probably, probably not. I don't know, but I know that for the next one between 2024 and 2028, I know it's I know it's gonna hit. I know it's gonna hit. Ravencoin. The reason why I think it's gonna be a dollar is because well, so that's 10x right from from here. The reason is because this is a GP, GPU mineable coin, and when Ethereum goes proof of stake. All that hash power has to go somewhere. So there's another YouTuber, love the guy, Bits Be Tripping. He actually did an analysis with really concrete, solid numbers, where he analyzed uh, once that hash power, the GPU um, hash power for Ethereum goes away, where's it gonna go? There's a lot of coins that are actually gonna start taking that hash rate. Um, Ravencoin, Ethereum Classic, um, uh, what else? Uh, all all these coins, uh, Raven Raven coin is gonna take it. Ergo, all these coins, the the hash rate is gonna be dispersed across all of them. And the what happens is that the miners don't give up. They keep mining because they know that the price follows. So even though there's gonna be an influx of GPU mining and people with farms dumping their hash rate into the different coins and the algorithms uh, the same thing that happens with Bitcoin is they just keep mining they keep mining keep mining keep mining because they know they know the price is gonna follow so when that happens you know speculation and I really like bits be tripping um, analysis analysis he said hey one dollar for sure 
but then he even went as far as saying on a best case scenario is going to be 225 225 per coin i mean it's kind of un like unheard of but if you if you really if i, if I want to you know for shits and giggles if i want to take 253 times two uh 225 theoretically what i'm what i'm mining today is going to be worth 569 dollars a day that's crazy now will it happen maybe if it doesn't cool i mean at least it was fun but if it does jesus we're in the money um and another reason why ravencoin i believe is gonna not only is it gonna get the hash power but it, it follows the same mechanism that Ra uh, bitcoin has as far as the having uh it's a fork of, of bitcoin so uh 20 q1 2022 um the rewards for all the miners are, are going to be slashed in half uh, so I'm, I'm not going to get these numbers next year I, I can assure you one because the difficulty is going to go up and two the rewards are going to be slashed so that's fine but as of right now i'm doing everything within my power to mine as much as i can on ethereum and ravencoin because i know all of this is going to change um, and there's there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of things happening whenever ethereum goes away as far as you know proof of work and that's one of the reasons why i think it's going to be definitely one dollar so whatever whatever i'm getting now um it's going to be well worth it so in a nutshell a uh, very long-winded video what am i at um 16 minutes okay you know not bad but uh, just just a nice little speculation that that I'm always mulling over in my head I'm, I'm, I'm doing this constantly and the reason why I'm doing it heavier now is because I lived it I lived it in 2018 I mind it I've seen it this this thing it's it comes in cycles it repeats itself it's gonna happen it's gonna happen so I'm excited I'm I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all these crazy things happen in 2022 and um you know we'll we'll reap the rewards of of the hard work and research and effort that we're doing all the miners it's gonna be fun all right well uh thanks for checking out my video if you stay this long great um and if you just kind of skim through it and wanted to see the conclusion cool appreciate it um if you have any questions let me know and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. See ya.